Welcome to the Over 40 Alpha Podcast with your host, Funk Roberts. Welcome to the Over 40 Alpha Podcast. I am your host, Funk Roberts. I'm a former professional athlete, master metabolic trainer, and I'm known around the world as the guy who helps men in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and beyond completely transform their bodies, transform their lives, and naturally increase testosterone through workouts, nutrition, recovery protocols, sleep strategies, mindset, supplementation, and everything that encompasses men's health. And in this podcast, that is exactly what we do. I bring you the best information, the best guests, and the best of men's health. And today I'm excited because today we're going to talk a little bit about a taboo subject, a taboo subject that guys don't generally like to talk about. But as I discuss in the podcast, your wives are talking about it. Your girlfriends are talking about it. Your significant others talking about it. They are talking about it and they're talking to each other about it. So as much as we want to keep it under wraps, we also need to start talking about it. We need to start start owning the fact that these things are happening to us and finding solutions. And what I'm talking about and who I'm talking about first is Dr. Torgerson. It's Cor- uh, Corey Torgerson. He is the leading authority in men's health. Uh, he's an ex- He has an expertise in overall men's health, and he's one of Canada's most respected men's health and intimacy performance experts. And also he's one of our country's uh, top facial plastic surgeons. Uh, he's got a ton of exceptional skills and expertise that has given him national uh, national recognition with his patients, with colleagues. He's actually been on Global News and Maryland Dennis and City TV and all these shows throughout Canada. But one of the biggest things uh, for him is he has actually developed two things. He's developed, first of all, he's developed a big shot, which offers uh, effective treatment for ED, erectile dysfunction or sexual performance, which he talks about, and also penile growth making uh, a significant step forward in addressing one of the most prevalent issues in men's health because erectile dysfunction is a prevalent issue. As he mentioned, 50% of men over 40 have erectile dysfunction or, or, or some type of sexual performance dysfunction. This is massive. This is huge. One in two. Like, that's unbelievable. And so because of this, you know, we're put on this earth to provide to protect and to procreate. On the procreation side, obviously as we get older, the procreation side is not literally it's not about generally procreating and creating new offspring. As we get older and with our partners, that that's, that doesn't become an, uh, something that we can do. But procreation has to do with sexual performance, that the connection you have with your wife, the connection you have with your significant other. And erectile dysfunction is definitely going to put a barrier between that. So learning what it is, learning how to treat it, learning, uh, being open and willing to listen to different things as uncomfortable or as sometimes you may think it's like, well, it's kind of silly, but it isn't. It's, it's something we need to listen to and need to, to own, own. And, you know, um, I think having uh, Dr. Corey Torgerson is very important um, and was great to have. So you're going to really enjoy this podcast. There are going to be things that are going to be uncomfortable for you. There are going to be things that you're going to hear and probably think, oh, fuck, what do you got this guy on this podcast for? But I love I love Dr. Torgerson and what Torgerson and what he's doing, you know, with his Sovereign Men's Health Clinic here in Toronto, uh, Sovereign Male uh, Health Clinic in Toronto. So if you are here in Toronto and Yorkville, you can go hit him up, Sovereign Male. But we'll have all of that information throughout. We'll have all of that information in the show notes. Uh, if you did learn something in this podcast episode, please give this a five star. Please give this a thumb, some thumbs up. I know that in general, when guys specifically our age, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, hear this kind of stuff that's very uncomfortable and they're, they kind of shy away from it. But we can't do that. Like as a man, you've got to own it. You've got to stand up and listen and think. And, and just like I said before, man, I'm telling you right now, your wives are talking about your erectile dysfunction. Your girlfriends are talking about it. They're talking with their friends. So if you go to a party one night or you go to a function and you look around and you see all your wives' girlfriends looking at you silly or looking at you weird, prob- and you have erectile dysfunction, they know. They know. What do you think they're talking about in the beauty salons? Huh? 
What do you think they're talking about in their ladies' nights? Huh? Come on, man. Get your shit together. <laughs> okay? But before we go, before we start, and knowledge is power, but before we go, here's a great way to start the process of getting your shit together. It's naturally increasing your testosterone levels through, okay, workouts, nutrition, recovery strategies, uh, keeping stress levels down, sleep tips, uh, you know, your mindset, getting that right mindset. You can go to over40alpha.com and uh, start for $1. You can join the Over 40 Alpha Brotherhood. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of men completely transform their lives. But also, uh, we've created the supplement. Myself and Dr. Stephen Anton created Alpha Max Test 3D. It's the only testosterone booster out there like this. It's a powder. And man, we've got 15 potent, powerful, uh, scientific proven ingredients backed by science. We made sure that the actual serving size that we put in was a serving size that was proven to have the benefits through the research that we did. It took us a whole year um, to develop this. You know, it helps with naturally increasing your testosterone production. It helps with improving your energy. It helps with boosting your T levels. Literally 90 days, you will see your T levels increase. Of course, there's other things you need to do but this is a great way to kickstart that, specifically because it increases your libido, helps you get better sleep. You're going to feel better. You're going to have more energy. You're going to improve your workout performance. We're going to improve the cir your circulatory system because um, increased blood flow, metabolic health as well, because Dr. Stephen Anton, who I created this with, is a metabolic health specialist as well. Um, it will lower your bad cholesterol, improve your stam stamina, help you build lean muscle, improve strength and performance burn more body fat, increase your confidence, inc encourage overall sexual health. So see, it starts that, right? Lower your bad estrogen. And again, it's all natural. It's clinically proven through um, the research that we did. And it's doctor formulated because myself and Dr. Stephen Anton, who is a world-renowned um, doctor and professor at uh, University of uh, Florida, right? Um, in 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 uh, Department of Aging and Geriatric Research, we did this together, right? And he's 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 got over 150 published scientific articles. My name is on this man. So if you want to kickstart, get that, you know, I of course you need to ensure that your workouts are on point. You're doing the right workouts. Your nutrition is on point. Your sleep. You're doing everything you can to increase your sleep quality. You gotta make sure that your, uh, you know, your stress levels and 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 your chronic stress uh, and and cortisol levels are at bay. You want to make sure that you're doing everything you can for your overall health. Uh, losing belly fat, losing body fat. Uh, your mindset and and that 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 focus on on naturally increasing your T levels, and then of course adding a supplement is is amazing. Um, you don't have to do that in that order, but you know, like I said, I put my name on this. I created this for men. I think every single man on the planet should be taking Alpha Max 10 3D period. And um, we've been getting many doctors and other uh, fitness experts, other supplement people. When they look at what's in here, they look at the dosage. They're like, man, that's a good supplement. That's a really good supplement. And of course, it's not just me. It's not other people. It's the guys who take this who right away go, oh, man, I feel different. I notice a difference. So go uh, to funksupplements.com. Use code podcast10. Get 10% off. Grab 90 days worth and uh, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. That's what I always say to people. Get your testosterone levels checked and then prove me wrong. Let, tell me, hey, this didn't work for me for 90 days. I did it. I did exactly what you told me to do. Didn't work. Prove me wrong. Anyways. Speaking of proving me wrong, I'm gonna let's 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 not prove me wrong and 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 take some time to listen to Dr. Corey Torgerson, who's gonna take us through uh, a journey into what erectile dysfunction is, what sexual performance is, and how us guys over the age of 40, 50, 60, and what you'll learn is even in your 20s and 30s can do to help improve our sexual performance. Enjoy the podcast. Welcome today to the Over 40 Alpha Podcast. Today. We are going to talk about, I guess it's something that's that's a taboo subject, but it's not really taboo. It's something that we as men should be discussing as much as possible. Something that's that's been getting worse and worse 
over the decades. And, um, you know, along with our, you know, this, uh, testosterone levels uh, getting worse and, and the health issues for men getting worse, this is something that's probably going to be you know, one of the one of the the top issues that we should be addressing that we don't address. And so I'm really excited today to have Dr. Corey Torgensen on our podcast to talk about erectile dysfunction. Dr. T, can I call you Dr. T? <laughs> call me Dr. T. That's right. Um, welcome and thank you for being on the podcast today. Oh, it's awesome. It's my pleasure, Funk. Nice to uh nice to be here. Yeah, it's great. So let's start, first talk about who you are, what you do. So give give our listeners and, and watchers a chance to to introduce themselves to you. Yeah. So my name is Dr. Corey Torgerson, and and uh, I'm actually a facial plastic surgeon, and I have uh, a big multi specialty clinic in Yorkville downtown in Toronto. And one of the specialties that we um, really have seen a tremendous amount of growth in is uh, is in male wellness and in male health. Our clinic is called Sovereign Male, and really it encompasses everything that dudes care about. And we kind of all care about the same kind of stuff. So we do hormone replacement therapy and hormones. We do sexual performance. I like to call it sexual performance as opposed to erectile dysfunction because it's kind of a spectrum, isn't it, right? Mm, yeah. And then we also do male enhancement. We do hair transplant. All the stuff guys care about. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. So yeah, let's. I like that sexual performance as opposed to ED. But first, why don't you give us uh, like what is erectile dysfunction, or now that, as you're calling sexual performance, what is that? I mean, do you know what it is? Um, it is a spectrum, and 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 what what is sort of the gold standard that we're talking about? For me, the gold standard of. Um, of erections is like a, a 16 or an 18 year old erection. I mean, this is the kind of erection that you get when you're walking down the hall at school and you think about something randomly, boom, there it happened. This is a kind of an erection that you can't get rid of, that you got to put a jacket on top to cover it. This is, this is a high school boner. Okay. And, and really this is, you know, sort of our gold standard of what we are comparing the rest of our life to. And we just know that as we get older, our erections aren't as consistent, as long lasting, um, as hard as they used to be. They're not just like, it's time to go and boom, it's not as consistent or reliable. And as men, that is problematic because it is our expectation in life that we are going to live the entirety of our lives with you know, the, the, the idea that our penises are going to work for us and they're going to be consistent and they're going to, 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 to react when we need them to react. And that's not life. That's not really, really what happens. And so I think, right, as you kind of mentioned, men are becoming more aware of this, you know, our fathers or our grandpas, our great grandpas, they didn't talk about this kind of stuff. They just kind of suffered in silence. And once you were past 40, it was kind of over. And that, that part of your life was, was over. I mean, what is your show? I mean, is it's 40 alpha, right? We, yeah. we, we, we expect to, to live with vitality and have the expectation that we should live with vitality and we want this. So really it starts at that 18, 16 year old erection. And that's our comparison. And of course we know that it doesn't, it doesn't live up to that for, for most of our lives after that. Yeah. And when do you, when, what, about what age do you start to see that decline? Right. Like I know personally, not personally, but I know people who, you know, in their thirties and even late twenties are starting to see that yeah. their, their, their dick isn't working. That's literally what they say. Yeah. Hey man, my dick's not working. Well, I mean, certainly the statistics show that 50% of men over 40, like half of us over 40, have some level of erectile dysfunction. And whether that means it's a tofu, it doesn't work at all, whether that means it's, uh, you know, an unpeeled banana or a peeled banana or, you know, a, 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 a cucumber, you know, there's some range in there. What is it? 50% of men, that's a lot. And when in, in, in the studies actually show that over the last 10 years, that number has has is creeping, creeping down into the, the 30s and into the 20s. Mm -hmm. 
And I think it's probably multifactorial. I think our expectations have gone up. We also have drugs mm -hmm. that men are using earlier in their teens and 20s to be able to enhance that erection even more, like Cialis or Viagra. Okay, do, do the 20-year-olds do the really need that? No, but how good is good enough, right? Right. But certainly we're talking about it more. Certainly the, the men in, 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 in their teens and 20s and 30s are aware of it and they're talking about it more. And so I think that has a lot to do with it. You know, the more that we talk about it, the more we say, well, it actually just didn't start when I was 40. It was starting progressively earlier and earlier on. And so I think in general, that's good for men. Talk about dude stuff, get it out there. Like let, let's, let's talk about it and, and find out healthy solutions and, and see what we can do to be able to, to address it. So yeah, uh, it's definitely happening. And I certainly see that in my practice funk. Wow. So, you know, I'm going to tell you something, you know, who's, and for men listening, I'm going to tell you who's talking about it the most. It's your wives. It's your girlfriends. It's the girls you sleep with. They're the ones that are going back to each other on a, you know, in their sewing circles or in the, in the beauty shop or whatever. And they're literally talking about, it. they're saying, Hey, my husband's, you know, so can't, can't get it up. He can't get it up. They hear it all the time. Mm -hmm. So they're talking about it as much as we're not because we, feel like you know it's 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 demasculating right like that's our masculinity right like this yeah, is it so, the, so the morning boner is our masculinity the nrb my friend i have a friend who calls it nrb no reason boner I'm like that's what he calls it sometimes you're sitting around <laughs> like oh my god i got an nrb i have no reason there's i don't know how right. that happened that those are good those are the things we want yeah, right and the older that you get you're like excellent <laughs> yes, right that's exactly. uh, you're, you wake up and you're like it's still working yes that's awesome it's amazing it's true but if we're not talking about it or we don't start to do stuff around that like i said it's your wives it's your girlfriends and it's everyone who's kind of and then you know you, you go to a party and you're you're there with your wife and the other ladies are there and they're looking at you weird and you're wondering why are these ladies looking at me weird because they know something you know but you didn't think they knew. So we've got to start doing things right now to help us get that, that, that morning wood. Right. Cause that's really how I, yeah. I, I talk to my guys about it. It's like, we're on this earth to provide, protect, procreate. So as we get older, when I talk about procreation, I mean, having that sexual performance with your wife, that's what that procreation means when we can't have you know, when we're, when our wives or girlfriends or queens can't have babies anymore. The procreation is that sexual performance. So um, one of the things you talked about is like, it's over the decades, it's getting worse. Like, is like, yeah. how can, with all of the Cialis and all of these things, you know, technology and the, the, what we know, how is it getting worse? Well, I mean, so, so, I mean, I think it's a, I think it's an excellent question. I think it's a super deep question yeah. from a strictly medical point of view. It gets worse over the decades um, because 80, 85% of erectile dysfunction is vascular. And, and we know that the blood, there's a lot of blood vessels that are going to our penis. And what happens as we get older is two things. Number one, they sort of retract. Uh, they don't develop as much. So less blood vessels, mm -hmm. um, less blood in your penis, less hard penis. And then number two is they can get plugged up. We know we, th we think about heart disease and plaques forming around our blood vessels, causing them to clog up like a, like a pipe gets clogged up. Mm -hmm. This is happening to our blood vessels. So as we get older, there's more atherosclerosis. There's, there's less blood vessels going to our penis. So we can see this happening. And if you have high blood pressure and if you have diabetes and if you have high cholesterol, this goes so much faster. And so that's why we really see it speed up in the later decades where it's getting worse and worse and worse. There's other reasons to have erectile dysfunction, you know? I mean, people say, well, there's something in the water. Why is the testosterone levels going down? Is that affecting it? Well, m maybe, maybe there's plastics and poisons and all of that. And I think that discussion is germane, it's relevant, and, and, and certainly we don't have data to be able to prove it, but we certainly are starting to measure things like that. I think another thing, Funk, that's interesting is that, you know, why are men in their 20s having mm -hmm. this? And um, I spoke about this the other day, and I think it's it's really relevant, too, in that, you know, with the increase in social media and, mm -hmm. and on our phones, we have unparalleled access to pornography mm -hmm. than ever before in history. And I always say that porn is good for 
nobody. It's not good for the dude. It's not good for the partner. And um, it really, really rejiggers your brain as to stimulation and thinking about that. And it is, it is so negative for a normal, healthy sexual relationship and even just a, a performance issue because sometimes without certain visual stimulation, and we know that men are visual, it, you, you're, you, you know, if you don't have that, nothing's going to happen. And then if you're in a real life situation, hmm. okay, hmm. that's not online, hmm. it's just, it's so boring compared to what you're getting, you know, fed into there. And so we see that unparalleled access to porn. And I talk about it in my clinic all the time, sure. you know, they're like, no, I know it's not good. And, and then it, when it comes to real stuff, I just can't do it. And so, um, you know, in our clinic, we have help. We have solutions. We have the ability to be able to do porn addiction, porn treat. But I think it's worth mentioning because yeah. that has a lot to do with our erections. There's no question about it. Oh, for sure. I mean, I I agree one million percent. You know, like just 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 on the basis of the 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 availability of it and so much, and then it's just it it's not realistic at all. Um, and right. to to real life and and to those real life situations. So it's it's yeah. it definitely hampers that. And so. We talked about, well, the porn stuff, but what other lifestyle choices do you think like people are doing well, that's affecting this as well? Yeah. I mean, like, I mean, all, all the usual stuff that affects your health, like, you right. know, smoking and, and, and alcohol and um, working out and exercise and healthy eating, all these things are so vital to what we're putting in our bodies mm -hmm. um, to be able to, to have a, a, a healthy, a healthy engine to be able to be healthy in every aspect of our life and certainly that affects it what kind of drugs are we taking mm. and all all of that and so i think i think healthy living is is also a huge i know that you're into that as well um a, a huge huge part of it yeah. um you know there's another aspect that we do at our clinic and that is uh, as we get older our testosterone levels go down just like men and uh, women go through menopause men go through andropause and our sex hormones just kind of fizzle and when you don't have as much testosterone on board, you certainly don't have as much of a sex drive that's certainly dependent. And if you don't have a sex drive, then you're going to have a for sure hard time getting an erection. So they all kind of go hand in hand as well. And so men that are creeping into their 30s and, and 40s and 50s, we see a progressive decline even in the normal range, mm -hmm. going from the high end of normal all the way down to the low end of normal. And you know, we don't just treat numbers, we treat symptoms. But... Lack of libido, lack of sex drive is a huge, huge part of wanting to get an erection, right? And, and having the ability to get erection. So sometimes we just start with that. Yeah. You know, let's look at your levels and let's see. And is there an opportunity where we can optimize you to the high end of the normal range, which funk is normal. It's normal to be at the high end of the normal range yeah. still. And there's so, so many benefits, you know, in the medical literature that talk about the, the effects of of optimized testosterone from longevity to better sex drive to better ability in the gym to get the results that you want, better sleep and concentration and energy. Yeah, testosterone is, I mean, it's it's our number one male hormone. And that's our, you know, my, my over 40 alpha brotherhood is based on naturally increasing T levels through all of the things you talked about, nutrition, the type of training, recovery, sleep, you know, mindset even, and and having a, uh, like a, a standard, like 600 is our low. Like 600 mm -hmm. nanograms per deciliter is our low in our 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. And I want these guys to be in the thousands if possible. But, you know, that's 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 all r related to a lifestyle change most of the time, depending on who mm -hmm. they are. Sometimes they may need a treatment just because of, you know, past things that have happened, maybe things to their testes or, you know, some concussion related stuff. But a lot of times it's a lifestyle thing. And um, which we see some people, you know, getting better more better sexual performance, but other people do need help, uh, you know, through, through, uh, through, uh, hormone replacement, Test testosterone injections. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so, um, let me ask you about like these drugs that people are taking, like Cialis and, and all of those things, like, where is that in the spectrum of helping people? Because I, m my thought would be that after a while, that's not going to do anything for you. Yeah, well, I mean, I would say it like this. Um, certainly having the ability to pop a pill and to be able to to fix a problem is 
good is beneficial and they work yeah. you know these these vasodilate the vessels in your penis it allows more blood to get in and because there's more room and more space and so more blood equals harder penis it's as is as easy as that do, do these drugs fix anything no they don't fix anything you you need to take them the drug companies love it okay totally. you take them a half an hour or an hour before you know and so the drug companies love it. It doesn't fix anything. Is it easy to take a pill? Well, yeah and no. It's kind of a pain kind of a deal. And certainly they're not inexpensive. Mm. I mean, the, the, the levels of legit drugs have driven in a whole underground uh, for, for you know, these, these, these fake or, or, or copies of them, which who, who knows where it's coming from and who knows where the quality of it. But in my mind, they're not fixers. And so other it has really, really pushed the... Um, and spurred on other technologies that have come in to actually try to fix the problem. Okay. Um, and that is something that we do in our clinic called Viasure, and it uses acoustic shockwave. Now, I love this kind of an idea because it's using sound, which is another natural kind of a treatment, to actually stimulate the production of new blood vessels in your penis and new smooth muscle. Mm -hmm. And, and, and um, it's actually a fix. It's actually doing something to reverse the problem so what which is keep going sorry sorry keep going yeah which is less blood vessels and less smooth muscle and if you can fix it then you don't need to rely on the drugs then all of a sudden you're walk, waking up with morning wood and and it's all on your own so what's that called again sorry what is that called so the technology is called acoustic shock wave therapy and the only health canada device right now is called viasure and um, it's it used to sound. I mean, shock waves are sound that come with pressure, and so they kind of like pound, 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 pound on the erectile tissue on your penis, and that shock actually causes the release of growth factors in the blood vessels to 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 cause a replication, cause a stimulation of new blood vessels, mm -hmm. and it also stimulates smooth muscles. The smooth muscle is actually a really important part. Because when the smooth muscles dilate in your penis, they cause blood to be able to get in there, and then they contract, causing blood to be able to stay in there. And of course, both of those things um, digress or regress with age, and so we really, really want to address the core issues with vascular erectile dysfunction. And so that's why I love this. It doesn't hurt. Mm. It's a sequence of six treatments a week apart, and once you do the main one, it's really the maintenance is only three a year. So it's not super expensive, and uh, it's non-drug, and we see some really fantastic results from it. Wow, that's amazing! So it's so just back to the the science portion of it. It's so it's creating new blood vessels because as we get older, those blood vessels are dying off or degenerating. The yeah, muscle as yeah. well, right? Because sarcopenia is that have, the sarcopenia, which is a natural loss of muscle due to aging in general. I guess that's everywhere in our body. Um, yeah. And then including in our penises. Yeah, correct. Totally, exactly. Yeah. So, so this is waking, not, not waking up. This is creating new blood vessels. This is yep. creating stimulating new ones, brand wow. new. That's amazing. Like that's incredible yeah. because that's, that's, that's what we're always wanting to, to achieve, right? We want to create new cells, create new blood vessels, create new yeah. because we want to last longer and age that anti-aging lasts longer, et cetera. I think this is yep. incredible. Yeah, and you can also pair that shockwave therapy mm -hmm. with platelet-rich plasma, which is growth factors that we distill from your blood. PRP. And so we'll often do that as a treatment where we'll do a shockwave treatment and then we'll inject those that PRP, the growth factors, um, right into the erectile tissue. And then in terms of the healing, it actually amplifies the overall uh, result. So that that's a nice little synergistic combo that we do in our clinic as well to be able to get even better results. And have you seen like so? What type of results have you seen in regards to this? Like first, well, I'm gonna ask you two questions. One is there has there been any science or research behind this specific type of treatment? Yeah, yeah. This this treatment is actually um, is the technology is actually not new. Okay. We've been using it for decades, but with just different applications. And so there's a ton of papers. It started off using the shockwave therapy to break up kidney stones. Interestingly enough, the cardiologists um, got a hold of it, and then they noticed that they were able to develop 
new blood vessels, and they had lots of applications for this. The orthopedic surgeons saw that it actually helps to speed up healing around joints. And then the urologists got in on it and said, hey, this is going to work for erectile dysfunction. And all of them, there's quite a, a broad body of literature in, in, in every of those specialties showing the improvements. And we're going to see more and more applications come all the time. But it's like anything, you know, it becomes refined with time. It becomes better and more specifically um, um, honed in on what you're specifically looking to treat. Um, and Viasure um, is, is, is the best one r right now on the market. And so what type of results have you seen in, from your clinic in Yorkville, Toronto? Yeah, well, I mean, so I think probably the the um, overriding um, feedback is an increase in spontaneity. Mm -hmm. They don't have to rely on the drugs so much. Um, and so that's always nice. I mean, it's not like, you, you, you know, it's either or. Some people use a blend, but it's nice to know that you don't have to rely on a drug to be able to do this. So spontaneity has been a, a, a big deal. Um, and so, you know, just like there's different levels of erectile dysfunction, you know, this is something that I don't leave off the table for anybody. And that's why I pitch it as sexual performance. So if you're in your 20s and if you're having a hard time because you want to get out those drugs that you've been on for so long and to be able to get a little bit of improvement even more with this kind of natural technology is 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 a bonus. So that's it's it's not a, like a light switch where you turn it on and and off. There's a gradation to your erections. And so, you know, this natural way to do this is good for everybody, you know, if that, if, if, if that's something that's uh, valuable for you. And so we're, we get great feedback. And, um, and then it also opens the door to be able to talk about other stuff that guys care about. Well, what about my sex driver? Or what does my penis even look like, you know? Because um, we do enhancements as well. And, that, and that's a big deal for dudes as well. Well, I haven't even thought about that. <laughs> Actually, to tell you the truth in regards to enhancements, but the, I'm going to go back again and ask about age because, like, what is the what is the oldest you've treated before? Like, can a 90 year old person come in? Sure, really? Yeah. Oh, for for sure. I mean, most of the the guys that are in my clinic are somewhere between 40 to 60. Okay. All right, 40 to 60. Have we treated people in their late 60s, early 70s? Oh, for sure, for sure. Right. And, you know, just like you can't put everybody into a box and it's it's more about, you know, your your genetic age than your chronological age. Some people have like freaking amazing genes and they're enjoying this part of their life into their 70s. For goodness sakes, I think that's, that's an awesome thing. Absolutely. Yeah, I think it's amazing. And I, I you know, my, my whole purpose is to live till I'm a hundred at least, but not like, like my grandmother, when she was a hundred, she was in, you know, or she's 99. She was in a, in a wheelchair, you know, she could barely talk. That's what I, I'm talking a hundred doing burpees. I want to see my great grandchildren. I want to like, and we have the technology um, and the science to be able to help us age properly, as well as the knowledge to, to be healthy throughout our lives. So yeah. um, I like that. So here the, so is this, now you're in Yorkville, and for those yep. people who don't who don't live in Toronto, Yorkville's a very expensive area, right? So is this specific for the elite? Like, how much how much does this cost? Like, do you can you? Yeah, I mean, it, we always we have a great range of of treatment uh, prices, and uh, it's always something that um it's like it's like going into Holt Renfrew or or you know you know there there are some expensive things in there there's no question about it but we also stock the shelves with things that are entry level and that are reasonable and so you know we have price price packages and then you can also pay it individually uh we have payment plans um a treatment of uh Viasure goes for about six hundred dollars okay. per session oh. So it's, 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 it's not inexpensive, but it's, it's, um, it is something that, uh, certainly people can save up for or be gifted with, or it's in that kind of a range. Yeah. I don't actually, I don't think 600 is that expensive when it comes to something like, like something so life changing, like this is life changing, like for somebody to, to go to not have sexual performance in their lives, specifically with their significant other to 
completely having that will change the dynamic of your relationship, will change the dynamic of your self, uh, you know, esteem, self, yeah. self esteem, right? Self image. It's just, I mean, you can't put like 600 is great. And, and I guess it's per, you have to go for six treatments. So it's per treatment. Is this covered for like, can you get this covered under? Not all hit, but I don't know. So, so in general, um, maybe, maybe uh, okay. you know, yeah. depending <laughs> on that, that, the uh, the insurance packages are 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 different, you know, and yeah, we'll have a really good insurance package. <laughs> maybe that'd be great. You can submit, and some people will try to submit everything. Trust, sure. trust you me. But um, yeah, yeah, it should be actually. Right? Yeah, yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Why shouldn't men's health be for oh, sure? Oh, men's health should one hundred. I mean, that's I'm 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 I've got the men's health flag. I got the pickets. I got everything, man. I'm trying to. Trying we to... have a flag. I didn't know we have I don't, a flag. We don't. Yeah, but we're gonna make one. We're gonna make a flag. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna make a men's <laughs> health flag. June is men's yeah. health month. November seventeenth yeah. is National Testosterone uh, Awareness. Uh, something that I created two years ago. Um, I love that. And so we have to we have to bring men's health to the table because it's not something. And I'm going to ask you about this. Um, men's health is not something that's in the forefront at all. People have no clue that men's health months ju in June. Pe no. We do have Movember, but Movember has become like some international thing where everyone takes part, which is great. But what is the real what's the real meaning of, of Movember and, and prostate cancer and that sort of thing that's happening in November. But what got you into focusing on men's health? Like what was, what was your path? If you can let me know what your path was through your life to get to where you are today. Well, that's a, such a good question because I think we all, we all get to where we are because we have a story and we all have some personal experience. And for, for me, my journey was really with my testosterone levels. You know, I was getting tired and uh, you know, I was, really burning out at the gym. I'm, I'm a very focused individual, but that was hard and I was just getting injured and my sex drive was going down and I was like, what's going on? And then we measured my testosterone and of course it was abysmally low and um, that was that. And so I'm like, what do we got to do? How do we got to figure this out? And then once it was optimized and corrected, I was like, I'm back. Yeah. This is me. I feel like it's me again. And uh, it was so empowering that uh, I thought, you know, we we're going to, we're going to do this for everybody and we're going to set people up and we're going to explore different treatment things and, 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 and treatment strategies that are really going to embrace everything that guys mm. really care about. And we're going to talk about it and we're going to be, be proud about it. Yeah. You know, be, be proud about, um, embracing, you know, the male males are, are important and we've been so quiet or we've been so um, ashamed or, you know, in, in, in the background, we don't say anything. We suffer in silence and, and there's no need, you know, M masculinity is something that's also been so thumbed down right now. It's toxic and, and, um, masculinity, just like femininity should be celebrated and it should be celebrated in all the goodness that it is. And, and of course there's, there's responsibility and, and structure with masculinity and that needs to also be discussed but it's part of it yeah for sure were you a doctor when you decided to like were you already a doctor already a doctor so yeah and you were like all right we gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta shift we gotta fix this yeah <laughs> we gotta fix this it's so yeah. funny because your your story is almost exactly like mine when i was 39 i had the exact same thing happening i was posting on youtube youtube was just new i was a fitness guy but in the background i had my sexual uh performance was gone my girlfriend had left me because of like she literally said, Hey, we're not having sex. I'm out. And so I masked my masculinity by going to, you know, going into drugs and self-medicating and going to strip joints and doing all, all the things I thought were masculine. Right. But here I am still with all these problems because I was trying to mask it with drugs and alcohol and partying and after hours yeah. and, you know, the whole, I mean, you live in Toronto, so you probably know the after, well, I don't know, yeah. Toronto, but you know, so it's a, it's a dark, it's dark. And then until I went to the doctor and we got my testosterone levels checked with like 192 or something, nanograms per deciliter. And I'm this so big, low. huge, puffy, like muscular, but puffy. And, uh, you know, I couldn't, I said to my doctor, like, that's impossible. Like I'm, I'm huge. I'm a big guy. Like it's like, Hey man, testosterone doesn't, doesn't mean, uh, you know, big. And plus you got a big belly, which means that you've got more estrogen anyway. So when I, I, you know, like you, I found that, you know, I just naturally increased it and, and felt great and wanted to start helping more men, um, throughout. So yeah, it's a great, it's a great story. And I'm so happy that, 
you are doing what you're doing in regards to, um, uh, you know, thank you. Yeah. I think it's amazing. I may come down and uh, check you out, not just to, not to get the, 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 the treatment, but to say hello, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, maybe you want to try it. You yeah. should. <laughs> you know, my wife probably will not want that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, so, um, let's, let's get to, um, what other things you guys do there? Cause you talked about having other, other, like, is there, is there more than just this treatment that you would, you would start somebody with? Yeah. So, and like I said, so, so oftentimes we'll, we'll pair that with uh, investigating uh, your hormone levels mm -hmm. and potentially optimizing them. They work together. And then, you know, the other piece that a lot of guys have um, concerns about are, are their size. And, um, and, and there's been some radical advancements in male enhancements uh, that we provide. And we do something called Big Shot. Oh, right. And Big Shot is um, really sort of encompasses the best of male enhancement from it being long lasting, like three to four years, and also natural, instant, reversible at the same time. And so to be able to have an increase in your thickness and your length when you're soft as well, bigger, bigger overall when you're hard, not affecting the sensitivity or the performance, it's kind of a big deal. Huge. And, um, you know, it's, 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 everyone thinks that male performance is maybe about sex or sorry, male enhancement is about sex. Male enhancement really isn't about sex. Male enhancement is about legitimacy, mm. feeling good in your own skin, feeling legitimate and worth it when you're naked and you have no clothes on and feeling confident as can be because you're confident about that part of your anatomy, which most guys are shame mm. and they cover. And it's not that they're trying to be exhibitionists, but shame is such a big part of not feeling good enough. All right. Why? Well, probably we compare our penises to porn. That's probably true. And I'm not like that, or I'm not that good or this. And so, you know, it's the equivalent really funk of, um, a breast implant for a woman, you know, like a little volume in a woman's chest makes them feel more beautiful, makes them um, feel um, more attractive with their clothes on or with their clothes off. And it's really about here. It's the same thing for a guy. And so to be able to give that to somebody can make them feel that much taller, can make them feel that much more worth it, can make them, make them feel that much more confident. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, in, in everyday situations or in sex situations, it's really quite ubiquitous. And so, you know, a lot of people think this is just, just a sex treatment. It really, really isn't. This is giving somebody a feeling of that you're good enough. And that's super cool that we can do it safely and that we can do it so that it looks natural. Cause th that's really, really the, the goal. Yeah. So if you're listening to this right now and you may be feeling uncomfortable because, this is not a, uh, this is not a conversation generally we have. We have female enhancement, but we've never, like, I've never heard of male enhancement in this case in regards to like literally being legitimately able to increase size or length, right? You got the pumps and all this other stuff, but I've never heard this. So this is interesting in regards to like, like it does, it will make a difference for a, a guy who is smaller or is just doesn't feel like they have their penises worthy. And again, your significant other or wife are literally going to be talking to their friends about it because that's what women do. Um, they just want to have, be able to, you know, communicate with, cause we don't communicate with them. So they're going to communicate with their, 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 their friends. But, um, so how does this, like, how does, does this work? Because people, guys who are, are probably listening to this and kind of laughing a little bit, but are always like, oh, let me hear a little bit more about how this exactly works. Take us down the road of how this yeah. actually yeah. works. I'm going to come, I'm coming to you. I walk into your clinic. Take me through. Yeah. So it all starts off with a consultation and, and, and that means that you better, you know, be ready to pull your pants down and, and, and have a good examination. And, and, and it's really, you know, I say our consultation goes from weird to weirder <laughs> to I'm your best friend. And, um, you know, every, you know, everyone's nervous and feeling not, not so great about themselves, but we, we, we turn it around and, it, and it's really, you know, funk, not about overall size. I mean, I've had guys come in and they're nine, eight or nine inches when they're soft 
and um and but but they're they're skinny as can be right you know and so having something that looks like a pencil also isn't very aesthetic it's it's really about an aesthetic and so the whether you're three inches six inches or nine inches it's not so important as having a nice aesthetic this is actually really about penis art okay wow. both when you're soft and when you're hard and so um so in general we inject something called um, the Big Shot, it's platelet-rich gel matrix. It's a combination of hyaluronic acid sugar. That's a natural sugar that's found in our bodies, in our skin, in our eyeball uh, juice, <laughs> in our <laughs> knees, mixed up with PRP. You know, those are the growth factors from our blood. Yeah. And when you mix them together, the PRP sort of hooks onto the filler like a scaffold and super stimulates your own collagen that's why it lasts such a long time um and and so it's instant it goes in between the skin and the erectile tissue's sheath and so you you know that there's that potential space you know and then when the erectile tissue gets bigger it stretches the skin right so in between that space is where we put the product so it doesn't affect the sensitivity and it doesn't affect your erection ability but we can fill up that space and blow up the penis, okay? So that when you're soft, you are, you are, you know, it's it's about your potential space. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to do the procedure, and then when you're hard, you're bigger on top of that uh, as well. Wow. And so um, this is something that um, swells up for a couple of weeks. Actually, mostly about a few days are the worst. You can start resuming sexual activity after that. And um, really, really gives you longevity um, to to this. And then, you know, top ups, it goes down about 10 or 15 percent per year. And then um, you do a small touch up uh, yearly for a couple of years. And we find it to be semi permanent after that. Like it kind of just lasts and lasts and lasts because it just reinforces what you currently have. And are there any negative side effects? Like, has there been any research on this? Like, like, like if I came to you tomorrow. Well, people, pe yeah, go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people have been trying to do this forever. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, we used to do fat in penises, right? We used to suck fat from one places and put it in there. Problem is that we use a lot of fat and fat as living tissue. And so 90, 95% of it would just die within three months. And then, and then all of a sudden you have these irregularities where that took, but that didn't take and this took. So you got these permanent lumps. No, thank you. Um, you know, if you go to Beverly Hills right now, you'll just get 15 vials of hyaluronic acid filler put in your penis and it's going to go away within six months. Expensive, but it's consistent at least and safe and natural and reversible. Right. You know, um, we've moved away from the surgery. Guys would try to do surgery, cutting of that suspensory ligament that anchors your penis complex onto your pelvis. And if you divide it, it sort of lets it come forward a little bit more. The problem with that is that if it worked, your erection would st stick straight down yeah. between your legs, which right. again is awkward. But you know, a good a good over fifty percent of them would scar back even more, so that you'd get even a smaller penis mm. show. So so that's really something that we threw out. It wasn't wasn't a win for anybody. And so you know, we've steered away from the permanent injections of uh, silicone. Uh, or permanent things in there which have high risks of infection or irregularities, which the only way to get that out is a, a, a choperation, right? Ooh. And so it was been really, really driving through the decades, guys, to do something that encompassed the best of both. And you keep saying reversible. What does that mean when you say reversible? Yeah, great question. So the um, hyaluronic acid can be broken up and dissolved with the injection of an antidote. It's an enzyme called hyaluronidase. And if you inject it uh, into where the product is, it will just sort of break it apart and it will quickly resorb and turn back to normal within hours. So why would someone do that? Like, why would I, if I came in to get it, you know, aesthetics, why would I reverse? Is it like health issues or something else that would? Well, there's a variety of issues. Like, I mean, for example, um, uh, I've had it where a guy's had it done. He loved it. And then his wife came in and she's like, oh, oh. this is going to be way too big for me. And he's like, but I like it. But, you know, so, so you know, they had to stay together. So he, <laughs> he brought it down a little bit. Um, what else? Um, 
some sometimes um, if there was an asymmetry or something, you know, it's or or someone just changed their mind. It's nice to be able to do something you think you want it so bad, yeah. you know, and then you get it and you're like, I don't want it anymore. Yeah, I'm good for it. I had fun with this and now I'm done. Mm -hmm. So it's it's nice to be able to have something that we can um, reverse if we wanted to. Right, right. You know, the, the correlate would be a woman that got breast implants. She loves them, and then all of a sudden she, she changes her mind and she wants them smaller again, right? Yeah. And, yeah. But the ability to be able to do that non-surgically is quite key. So if anyone, so again, that's, this is, so the two big things that I'm hearing right now, um, I mean, there's a lot, but, you know, definitely the, the, the shot is, is big for people who want to get that. I think it's great. Um, I also like the, the, the treatment, right? The Biosure. I think that that's huge. I think that that in its own, in its own right is a great first step because once you get that, then you start to, I, I think that you would start to get a lot, like I was saying, more self-esteem, more self, you know, just, just more focus on, on, on your Johnson. Right. And then you start thinking, Oh, this may look a little bit you know what, maybe I should go get a big shot just to make it look a little bit better and really enhance Yeah, my... it's a circle. They all go in a circle, right? right? When you feel confident and good about this, then you're like, wow, this is great. I feel I feel awesome about this part of my life. And, and that's a win for, for everybody. Wow. So what is the price? Is, there, is that an expensive thing, the big shot? Like, I mean, I know like breast implant. Yeah, it definitely is more expensive. Yeah, it's okay. sort of in the, in the price point of like a breast implant. We're right. talking somewhere between, you know, 13 to 20 depending on how much product we use and what size you are right now here's a here's a question are there uh like scam artists not, that's not the word i wanted to use but are there like do people need to, to do their research in this stuff because they're hearing it now and they may not live in toronto they may they probably a million, a million percent if it's too good to be true it is as you know that right and <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you know so. people people will always try to cut corners and do things for super cheap mm. and you know, there's always underground uh, 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 places where you can get, you know, this drug for cheaper and this yeah. for here. Um, and so in general, my rules are safe and natural. Okay. You know, if you can get something done and it, and, it, and it can be done safely, it's the right thing to do. And it can be done so that it looks natural, then live your life. Right. You know, if, you, if, if, if you're worried or suspect about that, then, then maybe think twice about it yeah yeah well just yeah cause the, why i'm saying that is because you know people will go to like is this big in the u.s is this big in mexico is this big like you know what i mean because sometimes you go to places like mexico panama all these other countries to get other things done because it's less expensive cheaper. yeah cheaper thailand those type of places but are the are you getting a uh a, you know a, a doctor are you getting someone who does plastic surgery are you do you you know is that what you're getting? And what are things you need to look for? Yeah, no, and this is this is because it's injectable. It's it's often done by people that that don't have the experience, that don't have the amount of training, and so you want it to be done, you know, by um, in a, in a medical clinic by a, by a doctor or by a nurse yeah. that's supervised by a doctor. Right now in Canada and the United States, those are the two scenarios by which it could be done. Okay, and and one that have legitimate clinics um, that that specialize in it. Yeah, you can. It's certainly. Um, blowing up if, 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 if you can uh, um, you know imagine and, yeah. and people are much more interested and just like men are talking about erectile dysfunction and, and hormones are also you know talking about um, you know enhancement as well yeah. um, and it will progressively become that way you're going to hear a lot more about it in the next months and years this will be something that will be pushed to the forefront okay. I predict it and uh, you're going to hear people talking about it a lot more you can get a lot more information on my website at sovereignmail.com and thebigshot.com. You can see befores and afters and pictures, and it sort of encompasses all of the treatments that we do um, if people are interested in it. Um, but, you know, ask questions, go for a proper consultation, arm yourself with information. Don't don't um, jump in just because you think it's cool. Make sure that we've thought about the little details. Be smart about it. That's awesome. Thank you so much. It's any last words? Cause like you just gave uh, two great plugs. Cause I was going to ask you where to go. I think personally, <laughs> if you have, I think personally, if you're listening to this right now, you need to take the trip to Toronto for two reasons. Number one, to go see Dr. Corey Torgerson Tor and number two, to come see the Funkster 
we're both here. Um, but to, you know, you want someone who's who uh, is reputable, who's a doctor, who has done this many, many times. You've listened to um, what Doctor T has to say, so it's definitely worth the trip to Toronto. Book an appointment. Are you on social media? Is there any other places that we can find you as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can look me at Dr. Uh, Corey Torgerson, and we have Sovereign Surgery. We have um, we have uh, Sovereign um, Skin Care, and um, I don't know. I think that's about it. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put yeah. all the links. Everything we'll Sovereign. <laughs> we'll put all the links. We'll see. We'll, we'll get all that. Toronto in. Hair Transplant Clinic. <laughs> okay. Toronto Hair Transplant Clinic. <laughs> okay. That's yeah, another big thing. Get your hair done. Yeah. Well, that's another thing we should talk about. <laughs> we, there we go. You well, and me both. We're yeah. going to talk about that we'll one. We'll talk about that for sure. We'll uh, we'll have a, we'll have you on again. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. I really appreciate you. I'm definitely going to come see you. Um, for that's sure. my pleasure. It's awesome, awesome to connect, Funk. Thank you so much. You too. Take care, doctor.